If that special someone makes your heart go pitter-patter, you should see what's going on with your medial insula. New advances in magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, are helping to expose the brain's inner workings. That means when it comes to love, the mysteries are becoming less mystical and more mechanical. It turns out that there is a sort of a, a basically four or five areas that are especially active when one is in love. And while you may love someone with all your heart, Professor Zeke was surprised to discover that love uses less of the brain than he thought. It is surprising because romantic love really is all engaging in the sense that it, it, it uh, basically modifies our behaving, our way of, of, of behaving. It, uh, we want to get dressed better, we want to look better, we, want, we are concerned about the person we love. So one would have thought that a large, very large part of the brain would be involved. But but psychologists stress that love simply can't be characterized as a chemical reaction, but rather an interaction of chemicals and the way we socialize. All of those things which kind of belong to the soul now seem to belong to the body. Um, the truth is, is there's an interaction of both. Um, yes, those chemicals are involved in making you fall in love, but so is the way your father treated you. So is your beliefs about yourself and how much love you deserve. While researchers are able to measure metabolic changes triggered by romance, finding the differences between men's and women's triggers, the things that make them swoon is still elusive. At the level at which we're talking, there seems to be no difference between male and female brains. Uh, I mean, the, the, the circuits that are active are very, very similar in both. However, uh, I would be amazed if with final analysis uh, one does not uh, find differences. I mean, there are, there are differences in the way that women love and the way that, that men love, too. There is, there so science can make a connection between increased brain activity and romance, but what it hasn't been able to explain is why we often lose our senses when we fall in love. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.